Hi, this is Mello and this is a short guide on what more you can do once you have decided to go for LVUI. So LVUI is a new UI that is essentially based on Took UI, but with a complete overhaul of the design and code. But everything that has to do with LVUI, you'll find on TukUI.org. If we go back to where we downloaded LVUI, scrolling down you find a link for downloading the TukUI Windows client. This is similar to the Curse client, but only for the different add-ons found on this site. So let's download that. Before we can actually use it however, we have to have a user account registered on tukui.org, so we do that right here. Alright, well inside the tukui client, if the client doesn't find any add-ons, you should set your World of Warcraft directory by clicking File, then Set Directory, and then you navigate to the folder where you installed the game. Then the application finds what supported add-ons you have installed from the tukui website, and in this case, it's only LVI itself. Now if we click on Browse on the top, we can start browsing for some more supported add-ons. Clicking Downloads twice will sort them in popularity. So now I'm going to download a couple and show what they can do. First off, Add-on Skins. This is just an add-on that adds additional skins for your other non lvo add-ons that you download to make them look like the rest of the UI. For example, here you can see the before and after picture of another popular add-on, Recount. Next I'm going to download Shadow and Light. This is an add-on that enhances LVI and gives it a lot more features. When you start the game after the first time you installed it, you are greeted with about the same installation process here as you were when you installed LVI. I recommend enabling almost everything here, so going through we enable Shadow and Light Armory mode, and then AFK mode. We want to be able to move some more frames, so we enable this. Next step, however, asks if you want to enable the creators of Shadow and Light user interface. This will move some of your items around, so if you want to create a UI custom made for you, I actually don't recommend you press these. So now we just press continue and finish and the UI will reload. Back in LUI settings, you can see that you have a new category of settings under your general. If we start off by going into media, here you have even more options when it comes to fonts. In modules, on the right side you have a drop down menu. Here you have a lot of different settings you can change. For example you can under background, enable some more custom frames that you can change colors and size of if you want to use that. Under data text you have a lot more panels that you may enable. For example if we enable data panel 1, you'll see that you get a new panel on the top left corner. Once you have enabled the panel, you go to the LVUI's data text settings and then panels and choose there what data text you want to have in that panel. If we choose SNL currency and hover over it, you can see that you get a list with all the different kinds of currencies. Compared to the normal LVUI currency data text you can see here, Shadow and Light provides a lot more information. Changing to equipment manager if we were to enable this and down here choose what gear set we want on different spec, we would automatically change to that gear set depending on which spec we're in. And under minimap we can enable location panel if we want. And then you can enable minimap buttons and enable the bar, skin mail and skin dungeon. And after a quick reload of the UI, you get a much nicer way to display the minimap buttons which there can become many of after a while. This is just some of the features of Shadows and Light, but I recommend taking some time going through each of the categories and enable or disable what you like to get the user interface that suits you. Moving on, the next add-on I want to download is XCT+. This is a combat text add-on where you can customize every text item that pops up during combat. You enter setup for XCT+, by typing forward slash XCT in chat. Here you can press test to see how it will display when in combat. Pressing stop, we come back to settings and by pressing move, you can move around all the different texts. I normally disable almost everything only to keep general, loot and money and special effects. But this is up to you. You can also activate floating combat text if you want that. And of course change fonts for everything in an easy way. Alright, this is some of the add-ons I recommend you download in addition to LVI. 
to get some more features but mostly to be able to customize your user interface more. On tukui.org you can also find comprehensive UI suits if you want that and of course more add-ons designed specifically to LVI. This has been a video showing how to enhance your LVI. I hope this has been helpful and if you liked it be sure to like and subscribe. Bye!